Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based, based sorry, re, uh, research channel. And um, if you're interested in um, finding out about the methods I use, I suggest um, watching the earlier videos just to see how it's done. So you can see that there's no um, odd manipulation or anything done with the, the photos here. Now, if you are new to this and you stumbled upon it because it's... Uh, Hubble and Hubble uh, image. Um, just take the opportunity to to um, watch this and uh, just ask yourself: um, Is this um, type of research uh, true, real? Um, am I right? Um, you know, and people put. Um, uh, or give excuses to bad images and you just got to ask yourself you know why is this a bad image and um, uh, take the opportunity just to um, investigate it a little bit I mean if, if, you, if you think it's all cod's wallet then um, you need to have some sort of uh, basis to that opinion um, and you need to give this um, a chance give it give it a look so before I start twaddling on as usual um, let's have a look so I'm a bit rusty you do apologize I'm trying to get these out um, okay so this is the image you're gonna be looking at that's a bit poor so this is a site, it's a NASA Hubble site. This is the image and this is the uh, the way up it comes in. Um, here's a little bit about the uh, crater itself, 50 miles across. And um, I've got something else that says, and it's something, it's 5,700 feet deep or whatever. This is the image I downloaded, the largest one here, the TIFF. So, Okay, now if you are new to this and you're still um, watching, then the images that we deal with are poor and uh, pre-edited, um, so you're not able to see any details of any description, even if you enlarge it in, say, a Windows viewer. And... If you are uh, an amateur astronomer, for example, and things like this, then you've got to, you, to take into the into account that the the the, uh, the missions that are sent out there they they are there to record as much of the surface and to find out exactly what's going on with the most advanced imaging cameras known to man so on and so forth but yet we get to see complete rubbish um now this image in question which is this now you'll notice i've moved this um to a position where if you look in the other image closely um the the craters seem inside out and it's just something that happens with these images this way around it's a it's a lot it's a lot um, easier to look at. So, if you're new, sorry to repeat myself, but what you need to do with these images is um, pause and just take the image in, get used to it. Um, initially, it's going to look uh, rather confusing, very busy, um, but give yourself time. And... Um, yeah, just give it a chance. Okay. Um, you know, you, you owe it to yourself um, to... Uh, if you have an opinion without actually even looking into this, and this is the idea of the channel, um, if you're interested enough, then 
the uh, the earlier video especially there's some tutorials as well and it shows you exactly how this is done and uh, I guarantee you uh, you will find what I'm finding it's as simple as that um, and uh, I don't um, tell you exactly what things are I will give a general uh, description um, because it's down to you at the end of the day and there are lots of channels out there which state you know to the fact what they're thinking um, that the stuff they're seeing is and 95% uh, of the time they're wrong they're looking in the right places but the uh, the the level of the enhancement is is just not there so making assumptions like that is just um, giving false information basically um, so yes I'm going on again right okay well let's get into it there's just a, a few things I want to point out here um, uh, through the middle of the image whichever way you're looking it uh, at and what I will do there's um there's like a blurred band you can see it here I uh, I don't know what I've done to this but I can hardly see the um what I'll do I'll just chuck a little bit of contrast in there So you can see it a bit more clearly. It runs all the way through here. Right the way through to the bottom. I don't know why, and there's some here on this side which runs up. Does it go all the way up? No, it sort of sways off about there. So initially, I mean, th this image looks, you know, highly detailed, um, and pretty good. You can get in there quite close. This hasn't had anything to do it, so there's a lot of noise in here. And it's quite difficult to view anything or notice anything. This is, this is the blurred out band. Okay. Let's just get rid of that. Now, if you're familiar or not familiar with uh, the, the, the method of enhancement I use, all these mottled areas are the areas that have been enhanced. So the darker areas I haven't worked on quite so much. And you'll see in the middle here, that um, I've worked a bit of the um, the blurred area basically just to see what's there and, and how it continues through so let's start up here um, now like I say you, you just pause and uh, view the image and basically what you're looking for are, are things not conducive to the descriptions um, sorry I just can, okay um, that we're familiar with about the moon it's uh, um, and we're looking for and as in the description it's uh, I haven't written yet but um, structural uh, and the similarities uh, between uh, the moon and all the various other moons and planets that we've done is, is quite astounding. Um, there seems to be a type of construction and layout which uh, seems popular with whoever is uh, constructing this stuff. Okay. It's going a bit closer. And this is probably immediately your probably having problems seeing this. But the longer you look at it, the uh, the easier it becomes. So 
I'm just going to move through. Um, and also, I can I can pop this in as well, so you can initially see what uh, the uh, original photograph is like. And that's with a bit of contrast as well, so take that into account. This is the blurred area turning up. And this is enhancement worked up to the blurred area. So what I look for is a is a layout, is a the infrastructure. Um, there's a structural layout, um, and the the angle of um, I think they call it ascension. Uh, you can look it up. Um, allows us to see the tops and sides and uh, the the three dimensional shapes of the uh, the structures. I would talk about like a tiered type sort of structure, but it looks more tiered, I think, because uh, we do there is an element of uh, angle, anything from 30, 25 to 40 degrees, or something that the actual photograph is taken at. And it's like I said before, I mean, I do have problems um, describing uh, this stuff. Um, this is why I uh, recommend viewing the earlier videos so you, you can actually see the, the enhancement in, in process. And it helps you focus on the, uh, the, the, the image itself and uh, you will understand it much, much more. I'm just going to do a little bit here. I said I won't do this because I'm out the videos turn into sort of hours long. Um, but it's a very simple process and uh, very, very effective. And um, I'm improving on it all the time. And obviously, every image is different and you have to approach it in a slightly different way. Uh, but it's it's just something you'll get used to. This is lagging a little bit because the image is quite large. I wouldn't tend to work on it at this this scale. What is it at? Two point two gig. So it's about it's about maxing out for my computer's brain. Like I say, this probably looks like very, very confusing. You have to follow everything through um, and take into the three dimensional account um, or look to it. 
it's very this looks quite wispy it's some sort of feel it reminded me of something i've been trying to sort of locate it because if i can find exactly what they've done then i'll um i'll show you but as as of yet i haven't um found it yet so there we have the original image and you can see stuff things and people wouldn't you wouldn't even see this in a windows view you have to have imaging software um, to get these images up to scale to um, at least notice something So we're moving into the crater now. I have got another image of the crater which I will be doing. I'll just give you a quick shot and I'm going to try and get some uh, um, things you can see in this image. Um, in this image. So it will be ongoing. I'll be working on this for a while as I did with the uh, Gonna need. So remember, it's 53 kilometers, 53 miles rather across. So a good area for you to concentrate on would be this area here. You can see the angular construction here. Now, this stuff is massive. Uh, ten, probably ten miles long. This. It's beyond belief. Yes, but it's there. This information is in the images, are in the photos. There's nothing added, there's nothing taken away, there's no warping, um, there's no overlaying of anything, it's purely um, pushing and pulling, uh, darkening and lightening the um, a range of three pixel tones, dark, mid and light. Either way, this comes over. I'm presuming these are, are tubes or pipes of some description on a massive scale. Varies in uh, var various uh, levels or, or different types of quality in this image, which we've spoken about a lot. <clears throat> you know, if if one photograph was one photograph, the uh, the noise factor or, or the look of a photograph would be throughout the whole image, not made up of all types of different um, filter effects. 
blurring, etc., etc. Like I say, if you want to learn more about this and see how it's actually done, then please do look at the um, earlier videos. It will make a lot more sense. I haven't done too much in this area. But seeing the various stages of the enhancement, I think, is uh, beneficial to our understanding of how to look at these images. It's, it's purely a point of time. I mean, when I've been working on these these images for a few hours. Um, they don't look blurred anymore um, and you can really see where you're going I mean, if you were looking at this for the first time and you saw this area here, for example, you know, you, you, your mind can make excuses any which way it likes. But the fact that this unusual structural um, formation here uh, exists throughout the whole image and does on all the other videos that I've done, uh, is something to question and you have to don't make excuses for yourself really look into this stuff so I'm doing this video a completely different way that I thought I was going to start doing it Let's have a closer look at that now. So it's on a bit of an angle due to the the uh, the photograph. But here we see one of these platform areas, and they're dotted with structures and towers and domes and things. Don't know what they are. I'm not sure what level of zoom you're going to be able to see these things are best at. But the larger the screen you uh, view this on, the, the better. Completely lost where I was going. So there's something else we've, we've spoken about a lot, that uh, people see these craters of a crater edge. Um, and they all seem to be raised. Um, like I say, if you check out the other videos, you'll see this a lot. And there's other sites as well, which are clearly show. That, um, the edges of these craters are raised. 
there's stuff underneath them. It's as simple as that. How do I know? I don't know for sure as well, but I can only go on the the, uh, the visual proof that there is something else to the craters. This is a very busy area. Check this out here. Again with the craters. I get a little bit disheartened when I show you images like this because they're so busy um, that I know people are not going to be, uh, they're not, they're not going to get on with them. There's too, there's too much happening in these images. You know, and people want a quick fix. They want to see, you know, they want to see a uh, crystal clear image of something that's not supposed to be on the moon and it doesn't work like that This is the uh, blurred out area which I worked on. Excuse me. So you can see where these things continue through. Don't know why this is here. I can get more information out of this, but I've spent a ridiculous amount of time on this already. But we will come back to it. So just pause and check out this stuff. To the edge of the uh, crater again, Tycho Crater. Look at this area here. I mean, I could spend dozens of hours on this. Check this out. are not moon rocks. So if you are new and you have made it this far and I haven't bored the living daylights out of you, um, then well done.
structural. Look at this. This domey thing here we looked at earlier, there's another one here. simply everywhere. So we will be coming back to this image and also looking at that bird's eye image, which is an LRO <coughs> image as well, and trying to get some um, some matches. Let's look at these structures here. There's, there's simply no other way of describing it. Incredible. The thing is, don't doubt yourself. What I mean is, your brain is just going to tell you, you know, this, this is impossible, it doesn't exist, this is impossible. I get it all the time, but I can only go on the results that I'm getting. It's as simple as that. And if you want to do it yourself, then all the information is... Uh, in the earlier videos and the tutorials on how you can do this yourself and if you have problems with it I'll probably need to update all that stuff anyway um, 
then uh, just give us a shout. <clears throat> And if you're still I'm in an orange, do you owe it to yourself to to check this out? To try and work out what all this stuff is. And if you if you say, oh, it, it's just a bad photograph, it's just it's a, a you know you're you're contradicting yourself. You know, this is, this is, these in their original state are not bad photographs. They're simply giving us bad photograph so we can't see what's going on. It's as simple as that. So there we have it. I hope I haven't bored you. I hope you can see what is going on here. It's just incredible. Not one of the better quality images, but there's uh, there's enough in there to any intelligent person to ask questions. Intelligent. And there we have it. <clears throat> I hope that wasn't too boring. It didn't go <laughs> anywhere like what I was expecting. But as usual, um, I've drunk too much coffee again. And um, I'll see you all soon. Okay, cheers. <laughs>